Yo, what's good? Will my dad with the Creative Core, and I'm back again with another edition of What's Wednesday. What's hard? Nah, for real. So, Mr. Adam Mossery, um, head of Instagram, posted a video a few days ago about changes to come in Instagram and what to look forward to. So I'm here, we're gonna check that out. I'm gonna take some notes and we're gonna see what we need to prepare for in the future. Uh, especially you guys out there, you entrepreneurs, you brand ambassadors and social influencers, as they would call you guys. Yeah, this is information you need to know because you don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, the algorithm could switch up. I need to know this as far as my brand, my business, and I need to know uh, what steps I need to be taking to move forward to compete with my competitors and make sure my business is thriving in the new year. All right, so let's check out this video and see what this dude is talking about. 2021 was a big year. We vaccinated over 4 billion people around the world. We saw a focus on the well-being of athletes with amazing break. As you can see, it's kind of funny how he's starting off talking about the vaccine and at the bottom it says, visit the COVID-19. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna get into that topic. People like Simone Biles and Naomi Osaka. We free Britney. We saw Olivia Rigo break onto the scene. We saw the squid game phenomenon. And a lot happened on Instagram as well. Lots of different areas, but two important themes were video our focus on reels, starting to consolidate our video formats and build new creative tools, and control, giving people more ways to shape Instagram into what's best for them with things like the sensitive content control, with the ability to hide light counts, with extending hidden words to DMs. And 2022 is gonna be an even bigger year. We're going to have to rethink what Instagram is because the world is changing quickly and we're gonna have to change with it. We're gonna double down on our focus on video. We're no longer so they're going to double down on their focus on video. He's talking about the reels. Uh, the first, I mean, in his caption on his page, you can go to it. It says, um, it says they're going to be focused. They're going to be focused on these four key priorities. So I'm assuming video and reels is going to be priority one. He just said they're going to double down on it. I'm pretty sure they're trying to compete with TikTok. A few weeks ago, they talked about that. And I kind of saw, well, a month ago, I saw how everything is switching over to video as far as Instagram. It's almost like the first thing you see when you go on your timeline. Let's continue. Just a photo sharing app and consolidate all of our video formats around Reels and continue to grow that product. So they're going to consolidate all their video, fat, uh, video formats around Reels. So it looks like they may be getting rid of IGTV and probably uh, posting video and uh, landscape mode and portrait mode, but portrait mode is should be the same size of an Instagram reel, if I'm not mistaken. But if they're trying to consolidate everything into reels and reels is based off a certain format, I'll put that format right here so you can see the dimensions. Um, the whole square format, 10, 8, I mean 1980 by 1980 or 1080 by 1080, is probably going to go away as well as the IGTV, which allows you to post videos that are super long. That's my assumption, I don't know, that might change, but that's what it just sounded like. You heard what he just said, so let's continue. We're also gonna focus a lot on messaging. Messaging is one of the- And primary focus number two, messaging. Primary ways that people, actually this is the primary way people connect online at this point. And we think Instagram can be the best place for people to connect with their friends about their interests. And Instagram needs to embrace the fact that messaging is that primary form of communication. We're gonna not only double down on our work on controls, but expand into doing more around transparency. We think it's important that- So messaging, then he goes into transparency. I thought it was funny how he said that- And Instagram needs to embrace the fact that messaging is that primary form of communication. Which is true. How uh, he said the primary, I mean, everyone's all in a messaging right now, and basically they're gonna double down on that because that's where it's at. And it's crazy because it is, that's where it's at. And it's almost, um, it's sad that it's like that because people don't communicate no more. You know, it's all about messaging, 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 messaging. I get it. 
I mean, they're a business. They're gonna go to what you know benefits them. The generation as they, they get younger, well, the younger ones as they get older and older and older, they're picking. I mean, they're still utilizing things that they were doing when they were kids, and most of them were text messaging. My age, I'm 40. I like to talk to people. I like to pick up the phone and converse with people. As far as what I like to use Instagram for is just to use my for my portfolio. But it forces people when you're when you're pushing messaging, it, it kind of forces people who are accustomed to talking into messaging. Messaging is great, especially for Instagram. If someone is in another state and they want to contact me about some work, but what trips me out, they have the contact information on your profile where there's a phone number and people will still message you instead of picking up the phone and calling you. It's almost like they're doing away with phone, you know, with people talking. It's crazy because when you do actually try to talk to someone, in my case, a female or a young lady, I find it hard to talk to them because they have nothing to talk about. But for messaging, they can run their mouth all day. So interesting. People understand how Instagram works if they're gonna shape it into what they want or what's best for them. And you're gonna to continue to see this focus on creators. They're at the forefront of the shift in power that we're seeing across industries. The creators. Shift in power that we're seeing across industries from institutions to individuals. And one of the most important things that we can do is help them make a living on our platform. And so there'll be a number of new creator monetization products, ways that- Which is good because, you know, I get a lot of emails from uh, brands about asking me to be a brand ambassador or because they like my style of shooting and what they love, what I love to um, collab with them. But it's like the payout isn't really, eh, you know? And I see some cr creators or influencers who have all these followers and they're getting paid all this money just because people are on their page, but their content, in my opinion, sucks. They suck. You know, it's like the people who are here really creating, people who use tools to create, not apps that people give you on your phone to make our, you know, to make it seem like our work is just like mediocre. There are people out there who are creating quick, quick, quick content and they're getting paid and they're making the money. Meanwhile, the guys like me, photographers, digital retouchers, uh, Anyone in post-production, 3D artists, background painters, uh, anybody rigging 3D models, you know, we don't get that type of shine. And I think we need that shine. Also, we need to get paid for it. If anybody should be getting paid is us, because we're the ones creating the trends. We're the ones, you know, even if someone came to us with an idea and we created it for them, it wouldn't be displayed for the world to see if it didn't come for our, our thought process. So there should be some type of, even when it comes to the algorithm pushing people to see certain things, I believe it should be pushed towards the people who are actually really creating. I mean, they have people sitting in their offices all day. They can scroll down people's pages and see, okay, this person is, is actually working and we can see it. And then compare it to someone who just posts selfies of themselves all day and has a lot of followers. How about we pull the algorithm from them and let them actually try to do some work other than posting pictures of themselves and put the algorithm, just like you said, towards the creators and help these guys build their platforms and, and help get money in their pocket because a lot of these people out here with a lot of followers wouldn't have these followers if it wasn't for guys like us behind the scenes taking the pictures, retouching the pictures, shooting the video, editing the video, uh, consultation. I mean, we should be getting paid for this. Help creators make a living on our platform that I'm particularly excited about coming Make out. a living. We need, as I said, to evolve because the world- We need to be making a living, that is correct. I was just talking to somebody about that this morning, you know, the whole nine to five, just to keep the roof over your head and doing part-time videos on the side, you know, it's, it's taxing, you know, it, it would be fun if as us creators, we can just do this as a living and get paid and work from home or work from our office. But the thing is, we don't get that much attention because the algorithm is being pushed to all these douchebags, all these millions of followers who are just on online dancing all day or twerking all day. It's not fair for the people who are built for this platform to not get the type of shine that we deserve. And I think they need to focus more on that. Uh, so Instagram, you need to work on that. You know, the world is changing quickly. And as we all emerge from this pandemic or the shift from pandemic to endemic, we're thinking about who we are, what we value, and what kind of change we want to affect in the world. So I, I hope all of you get some rest over the holidays. It's been a big year. I'm going to certainly try to do the same thing myself so that we can hit the ground running in 2022 together. All right. So that's his four key points. His four key points are video messaging, transparency, and creators. So I seen the video switch, like I said last month when I was in Atlanta, it was like I was in the lobby of a hotel and boom, as soon as I got on my phone, I saw the switch. Everything just went straight to the video. So if they're gonna be serious about that and they're gonna switch everything to like a, 
a real format. It's going to be a certain type of size. It's going to force people to shoot in a certain type of way. They're going to have to make adjustments for that because you can't shoot landscape anymore. I mean, you can, and then you can crop it, but I mean, you get better resolution when you shoot vertical. So, I mean, the messaging, of course, is going to be more, uh, I guess, add-ons or takeaways from that. I mean, I'm not too big into messaging on Instagram myself personally. I'm like Big Boy. Big Boy said, boy, don't beat me if you ain't got no work. <laughs> that's what he said and i'm like you know messaging is cool but it's only cool when somebody's messaging you for some work so i mean i get it because you have a generation of people who do most of their talking through messaging uh they don't know how to pick, pick up the phone and talk to people like adults uh did you know years ago i guess i don't know i mean i'm i was born in 81 and i still like to talk to people on the phone i could care less about messaging because one you get a lot of things misconstrued people take stuff the wrong way but it is what it is he's going to focus on messaging so i i mean maybe there will be some things added that i may like i mean i will have to wait and see the transparency uh, i'm have to go back and listen to that part again but i'm not too clear about what he's trying to get with the whole transparency thing I mean, they're pretty open about what they're doing. I would be more uh, interested in knowing like dates so I can kind of prepare on my end and kind of get a jump of the gun on my competition because there's a lot of people out here doing what we're doing now. It just They just opened the floodgates for anybody just walking to Best Buy or anywhere on Amazon and buy equipment and now you're a creator, you know, but the four principal thing you want to talk about is creators, which I already had my little spiel on that. I feel that the algorithm needs to show creators more attention. And when I say creators, I mean real actual photographers, real actual videographers, real actual 3D sculptors, painters, designers, interior designers, fashion designers, seamstress, makeup artists, you know, also black creator, real talk, black creators. I mean, I mean, we've heard the subjects and the stories on TikTok. It's not fair for us. You know, uh, my platform is pretty open for all races. I do love all people. But right now, uh, I do have to say that candidly. I mean, it, it's not for us. When I say us, I mean African-American black people. Unless you have a huge following and you're doing something like twerking or something. It's, I don't have anything against women. I know some women out there probably like, oh, he just bash up. No, but, but that's when I go on my timeline, that's all I see. Even if I'm not following like certain women, somebody sharing that or uh, a certain Instagram page I follow because of a certain thing, they might post something I do like, but now they're getting to the point like, well, if this people, if this is what they want to see, we're just going to keep posting it. If, if Instagram, if people can't <laughs> see what's going on, I think Instagram needs to regulate that. I think they should regulate how much twerking goes on their, <laughs> their platform. They need to have people sitting back and like, okay, we're going to cut these 10,000 back. You know, they twerk every, every, every day we see them twerking. Let's just cut them off the algorithm and let some other people come in here and get some juice. You know, I mean, we, we see that all day. We get, it, it gets it gets boring, you know? So um, interesting, interesting, interesting. 2022, Mr. Adam. We're gonna see what you got to bring to the table, man. And uh, that's my that's my video for the day, my intake on that. Um, I kind of noticed, you know, it's gonna be some changes. I'm glad he, he got online and spoke about it. So I won't have to go do no research on it, you know? So I'll keep you guys updated. You know, just follow the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And follow me on Instagram at Will Mydell and Mr. Mydell. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll check back with you later.